After witnessing the impact the first two Americans had on his Killarney team, Party went back to the States looking for bigger and better players. And he arrived home with the best two Americans Clarney would ever have, Arnold Veasley from Alabama and the six foot eight inch powerhouse Tony Andre, who became the Irish League's first ever superstar. My dream all the time was to play basketball in Europe. I got a call from Coach Murphy, and he said, well, what about Ireland? I said, hmm, OK, that sounds like it'd be interesting. Got off the plane, met Party for the first time. We got to the town, and there weren't any black people. I'm like, oh, OK. You, you, you're, not in, you're not in Kansas anymore, <laughs> you know? I'm just in this different place. Tony was special because we're talking about a young man who came into a community again like Killarney and was immediately uh, favorable, A, to the community, despite how difficult it might have been for him as being one of the few black people in the community. And uh, the way he handled himself with the local people was very impressive. Outside of his talent and ability to play basketball, he was a tremendous player. This little girl walks up and rubs her finger across my skin and then looks at her finger and said, you know, it doesn't come off. You know, I didn't take offense. I just said, no, you know, this is, this is my color. And then I rubbed my hand and she, I said, see, I think by just talking to her and telling her that opened her eyes up. So. 